Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So if you're thinking about doing gameplay videos and you've never done any type of screen recording, then you're probably wondering what software should I use and what settings should I have. And then secondly, what is the difference between using 60 frames per second versus 30 frames per second? And so today I'm going to be showing you this. Uh, first and foremost, the software that I am using is OBS. This is freely available on every single platform. And then at the end of the video, I'll be showing you the settings that I use to get high quality gameplay recordings. And also, of course, I will be showing you the differences between 60 frames per second versus 30 frames per second. And you'll be surprised to know that at even 30 frames per second, for most games, you're going to get really great footage. Unless you're running really high quality 3D games at, you know, really high settings. And if you are, then your machine is more than likely powerful enough to do very high quality recordings. And so let's go ahead and get into this and I will show you what I have. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this off with 60 frames per second at my 2K resolution. And so uh, I'm not expecting this to be great uh, because it is at a higher resolution, but let's see. Um, I mean, as far as my gameplay, it, it works just fine. Um, and obviously, since I am screen recording, I'm not getting as high of a frame as I would normally get, but it's still at like 60 frames per second. So 50 to 60, so that's still really good for me. I mean, some people might laugh at that, but I'm normally used to 30 frames per second, so I'm pretty happy. So at least for me right now, gameplay wise, looks good. It's solid. I'm able to play this game really well. But I'm not sure how that's going to translate into the 2K realm, but we'll see. But with Doom, it's always fun to play no matter what resolution it's in. And obviously having a really high frame rate is extremely important. But we'll see how the gameplay turns out. And let's go ahead and give this imp a little kick. <laughs> uh, Alright, more enemies? Great. More imps? Awesome. Okay, so now I'm trying this again. Uh, 2k resolution but this time I'm trying it out at 30 frames per second uh, to see if this recording is any better because whenever I try to record this at 60 frames per second oh man it was pretty horrible um, pretty much unusable super choppy so let's see if this does any better um, hopefully it does you know but I'm pretty sure it will but not sure how much better because it's still at a 2k resolution and at the same time I'm screen recording and so uh, there's a lot of things that's going on here so see this see if this works any better otherwise I'm probably gonna have to go down to a 1080p recording I'm pretty sure that's gonna be better that's uh, not at a, at a high as a resolution and who knows I might still have to bring the frame rate down but I could probably do 1080p at 60 frames per second um, that's probably what it's gonna have to be you know so let's go ahead and try this nope yep that wasn't hard at all come on come on come on come on imp take some of that all right okay. is that everyone nope more imp get kicked in the face you know, that's what I'm here for that's what doom guy does blowing up blowing up imps like there's no tomorrow whoa man you're annoying me man Ooh. I don't know I don't know I don't think they know who doom guy is but uh, they just got a piece of my uh, fist so Let's see what we have here. More enemies, more imps, and more people to, you know, lay the smack down on. Boom. All right. Okay. What are we doing here? Oh. So, oh, yep, that didn't last too long. Let's see how this looks. Whenever punching you in the face all right all right okay yeah I think they should have known but uh, they didn't so 
that's what that's what had to happen. So yeah, we're gonna have some hardcore enemies coming here. Well, not really, but <laughs> whatever. Oh, great. Okay, so now I'm trying this out at 60 frames per second, but my actual output, I'm downscaling this to a 1080p in OBS. However, my canvas is still my screen monitor, which is uh, 2K. So hopefully this will make a difference. Uh, or it might not, I'm not sure yet. But in terms of gameplay, I'm still having fun here. And <laughs> it's just really fun, especially if you're like, you know, you're pretty good at Doom already. And so just going back and playing these levels now that you're pretty good, it's so much easier. And obviously having all these weapons available to you in arcade mode just definitely makes things easier. And just, just blowing them away. Yeah, man, that never ever gets old. I never get bored of that. Huh? So let's take this out. Oh, glory kill. Let's do another one. Because, you know, those are always fun. Ooh. Oh, God. He really wants to get the shot. Yep. That's what happens. That's what happens. Yep. Ooh. Man. I wouldn't know what would happen if Doom was never created. <laughs> Gaming would probably... Well, definitely, most of the game is... You know first person shooters but if doom was never created i don't know i wonder where it would be with first person shooters i'm pretty sure it would definitely would have happened eventually anyway but i don't know how it would have been if we didn't have a world without doom guy you know probably be pretty boring world oh so yep let's see let's do that again hopefully this looks better I mean, it looks fine to me when I'm playing, but, you know, obviously that's when I'm playing. Man, I'm still, like, super impressed with with what they're able to do. Um, you know, it's always been pretty much at the top of the game when it came to graphics, but it never fails to impress me, you know. Oh, yeah. So now we got this. Let's see. Oh, sorry. Shotguns, obviously, my or double barrel shotguns, my favorite. But this one's really not powerful at all. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm doing another test with the recording, 2K, 60 frames per second. But this time, I'm trying out a different encoder. I'm trying out the hardware encoder for my AMD GPU. This is the FFmpeg VAAPI. So I'm gonna see if this improves the performance any in terms of the actual recording. Uh, gameplay wise, no difference for me. Still running at a solid 50 to 60 frames per second. And resolution, everything just looks just the same. So, but let's see how this looks like in terms of actual recording after I knock out some more imps. Because <laughs> I can't leave without, you know, welcoming them to my fist and so now I'm trying this out on a less demanding game compared to Doom uh, this is Yakuza so right now I'm actually running this at 2k 60 frames per second and I would expect this to perform better uh, in terms of the actual screen recording uh, but let's see you know um, in terms of gameplay once again I have no problems I mean <laughs> it plays great and it's all thanks to this whole Proton layer within Steam that I'm able to do this. And Yakuza is a game that <laughs> it is more fun than I thought. You know, it reminds me so much of Shenmue um, because that's, I guess, was the spiritual successor is Yakuza. But Yakuza has its own world, so many games in this universe. And a lot of people love this. And one of the big things that really reminds me so much of Shenmue it's not only the open world nature, of course, but it has a lot of mini games, you know, uh, and I'm pretty sure that was borrowed from Shenmue, you know, we could play a lot of old classic games in here like Outrun, Space Harrier, uh, <laughs> we could go bowling, play pachinko machines, there's a lot of stuff here. So, that's Yakuza. Um, 
I think it looks great in terms of its gameplay. But let's go ahead and see how this looks like uh, whenever I'm looking at the recording. Okay, so now I'm trying out Rise of the Tomb Raider. Now, this is an older game. It came out in 2015, but the graphics are still amazing. And this resolution that I'm running at right now is 2K at 60 frames per second. And so there's not a lot of action going on here, but at the same time, there's so many things going on within the environment. And hopefully this will translate well uh, into 60 frames at this resolution. And this is just another test to see how the screen recording looks overall. Hopefully it'll look great. You know, once again, in terms of my actual gameplay, I don't really have any problems here. You know, the gameplay is solid. But let's see how it looks like whenever I look at the recording itself. Let's go ahead and check that out. Now look at that. Pretty sweet. And so now I'm testing something out that's not quite as intensive. This is a 2D game. This is Cuphead. So I'm currently recording this at a 2K resolution at 60 frames per second. And I'm guessing that it's going to look a lot better whenever you do look at your recording because obviously this doesn't require as much horsepower to run while you are recording. And 2D games, I love these types of games. And so I definitely want to get as great a resolution as many frames as I can whenever I'm doing these. It's an awesome game, by the way, if you've never played Cuphead. Well, that's it. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to be going over the OBS settings that I use to do high quality game recordings at 60 frames per second. Now, a lot of this will depend on your hardware, but I'm going to show you the settings that I use. So we go here to settings and I'll go to output first. And on the streaming settings, I just leave that default. It's at the recording tab where I make most of my changes. Starting with the recording format, I am using MP4. And the audio track is default to one audio track, but I use two. You can use up to six different audio tracks. Now for my coder, I'm using the software encoding at X264. And if you aren't using this, that means a lot of the processing and coding will be done on your CPU. And so there are hardware encoding options, but it really will depend on your GPU. And it's, you probably saw by the example I showed earlier, using hardware encoding for my GPU didn't really work really well. So my CPU did a lot better job. So, uh, you know, recommend you use X264, but also play around if you do have a good GPU. Now the rescale output, I just leave that alone because I will be making that choice under video. And now getting down here to the rate control, there are many options available, but I use CBR, which stands for constant bit rate. And then under the bitrate, I am using 15,000 kilobytes per second. You can increase this if you want to. However, it will also increase the size of your file and the amount of processing that is involved. And if you do upload this to YouTube, then YouTube is going to do compression anyway. And so for me, the 12 to 15,000 range looks pretty good. And so everything else I have left the same. Now moving to audio, this is where those six different tracks come into play. Uh, for me, I'm using only two tracks and the audio bitrate that I use is 320. Now for track number one, I'm going to assign that to desktop audio. Track number two, my mic auxiliary. And then the replay buffer, I don't do anything with that. Now moving over to my audio, I did choose a sample rate of 48 kilohertz. My desktop audio left as default. And then my mic auxiliary audio, I do have multiple microphones, but I'm using my Samsung CO1U condenser mic to do all my recordings. Everything else I have left the same. And finally, we get to video. Now your base canvas resolution is really dependent upon the screen resolution that you have and also the GPU that you have as well. At least for me, my resolution is 2560 by 1440, which is 2K. And the output, I have it at the same resolution. However, you do have the option of using a lower output scaled resolution. And also there is a downscale filter as well. I can't show you this right now because I'm actually recording, but there are many options available. But the one that I use is by Cubic. Uh, there is one right below that. It's at a higher sampling rate, but I've noticed that that causes a lot of problems in terms of performance. So by Cubic works well for me. And then the frames per second, this is where it's important. You could go up to 60 frames per second. It defaults at 30. So I chose 60 frames per second. But all of this really depends on your hardware. So I recommend you play around with these things. 
And then uh, those are the main settings that I have. About the only thing that you might want to do is use a hotkey. So then you could easily start recording and stop recording, but it's not necessary. But for me, it just really makes things easier. And then going back to the main settings right here, if you go to this wheel right here, you could actually go to your advanced audio properties. And this is where you can assign different tracks, uh, as I uh, you know, really showed you earlier whenever you set this up. And so those are all the settings that I have for my gameplay screen recordings, high quality, at least for me. And as you saw from all those different examples, you could get some really good screen recordings just off of using OBS. And depending on your hardware, even at 30 frames per second, it could look pretty good for the majority of games out there. So if you actually had any thoughts on this, whether you are doing screen recordings right now, or maybe you had other settings that you use to get high quality recordings, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see my entire OBS tutorial playlist, I will also leave that in the description as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.